I don't know, Tom represents the king mix up in his, you know. So check out the dog, YouTube page, all the body thing, all the money thing. I'm not saying, no, no, guys, I'm the world family. Boof, buff, now. Okay, people, Vibes Cartel is back in the headlines again because he is claiming that he is getting death threats and harassment from the prison guards. And this is an exclusive article by Urban Islands. But honestly, people, me think say, I published this done, is it, You know what I mean? Because why would any water want to threaten the life of Vibes Cartel, who's obviously paying more than the government? But nevertheless, let me read you the article. I literally know what I'm going from what I have to go on because a spokesperson from Vibes Cartel is alleging that the artist's life could be in danger as prison warden has threatened to kill the artist. On Sunday, the spokesperson asked to rename anonymous, said that the family of the DJ fears of his life, and now called on his lawyer to reach out to Tower Street Prison officials about the latest allegation. And his attorney at law, Isaac Buchanan, who represents Vibes Cartel, has been instructed to speak to the prison officials and he is also scheduled to visit the artist in jail on Monday, November 14th. That will be today, people. Urban Islands received exclusive details about the situation with Vibes Cartel on Sunday, where Cartel management alleges that Tommy Lee Sparta, who is currently serving a three-year sentence for illegal possession of a firearm, was beaten up while in prison, and the same artist um, have now threatened Vibes Cartel. I don't know what they mean by the same artist have threatened Vibes Cartel, but nevertheless, the source is alleged that since Vibes Cartel was moved to GP in September following the interview, um, that his fiance were engaged to the ramping shop artist has been harassed by the warden. Yes, they were harassed him, you see me, and they said ever since Cartel came to GP on September 30th, the officers have been searching his cell nonstop and saying that his soldier, Tommy Lee, dissed them and a theme fought uh, a theme fat a fry a cartel. You know what I mean? A theme fat a fry cartel, I guess, is him as uh, the source revealed the latest incident occurred on Thursday, November 9th, where tensions, yes, tensions rose after a broken cell phone was found within the area where Vibes Cartel is housed, and the warden sought to blame cartel. And the officers said, um, the officers have found a broken cell in the block where cartel is located and accused the DJ of being the owner of the and telling him that at this him and this the water for you, I broke up the phone. I guess you know you're supposed to pay to have them things on the cell block. You see me I say. But nevertheless, on the morning, the Sunday morning, I were not identified as cartel. Uh, management as officer by the name of Reed got into a verbal confrontation with Cartel and later threatened the DJ's life. Reed told Cartel he's acting like it's him run the prison and is this is not road. Cartel and him have a verbal altercation and Mr. Reed told Cartel that he would kill him and nothing don't come out of it. After which Cartel told him he have to owe me that. But other fact me I gotta make me lie, you know. This artist management team is calling on the authorities to investigate the alleged harassment by the warden and threats um, from the staff officers. It's embarrassing. And you know, cartel client, um, lawyer declined to comment until he has spoken to his client, you know, and he's going to see him today. It's embarrassing. As you know, they're waiting for the appeal thing for the highest court, the Privy Council. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. <clears throat> the thing with cartel, he's very controversial, you know. And him just said, new EP dropping in December, you see me? So I don't know if this is just another thing to garner attention, you see me, I say. But um, if it's not, you know, ja no, ja no. People putting out a comment section, what you think about that situation there, you see? And now speaking about people's life in danger, Popcorn's life might be in danger if we don't believe in them or be a business thing, yeah. You know what I mean? And people making prophecies and all of this stuff. Because as you can see, uh, I think it's a Nigerian page, you know. Um, I have a lot of followers, you see me, I say. And they said, November prophecies, popcorn, the Jamaican artist should pray against sudden death. I do not give prophecies on social media, but I do not know these people personally. And these messages has to get to them. You see me, I say. Us. I have been holding back must them them said them I hold this back since November first. It's in my assembly people, so uh, let me just tell them say Papi have a 
angel by him side that's still alive. Yes, his mother, Miss Rona, she ever pray for popcorn, you see, man, says so. I'm pretty sure they've heard about this IG post, because you know popcorn fucks with the um, Africans heavy, you see, man, says so them probably send it to homeboy, and homeboy send it to him, mama, mama, mama. You know, that's the thought in the other universe, you see, man, say. Boy, oh boy, but people, honestly, you know, November is sacrificing season um, for these mainstream people, I should say, internationally speaking. You know, that's on them record label um, type of ish. So, and I mean, me not believing at them things here, but you have people that do and they go to the extreme. You know what I mean? Yes. I don't believe in these rituals, drinking virgin blood, you live forever and all of them crap. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you have people that do believe in them stuff and those are the people you have to be um, not afraid of, but aware of. You know what I mean? Yeah, so you can clamp them down pan side, you see. But I'm not saying you know, update what I go on from what I go on with the unruly king, you see. You know, I say we're there for a little bit, you know, all on the people. I'm start the review off right, you know, cause this is what you call a live review, you know. That's a mason. Keep mix up, make sure say when you post the video, you're talking to them when we talk, you know. Say somebody just talk, keep, say King Mix Up over here. Nobody gonna mix up, not the King Mix Up. Make sure King Mix Up, you're talking how it go. No put in nothing in it. No add in no sugar, no add in no salt. Anyway. <laughs> Viewers, subscribers, back again with these quick updates because trust, if it's not for it from me, it's not credible. And you know that already, you feel I'm saying? Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Why, Spice Dusty, them can't really make her look like girl man clone, you know. I mean, Rasta try to move on with them life. And the besties, them just all over him, you know. You know what, people, we need Spice to hurry up and get better, you know, because when me I check Rasta comment section, me see the whores coming out of the dusty them, you know. You know what I mean? It's like the dusty them would have taken a fucker for the queen or king, you see me, so. But nevertheless, the Ras post a picture. And the besties them say, yo, that's spice. As in I can see the comments next to the picture, you know. And I say, yo, these are not besties, man. These are some dusty, rusty ass crusties, you feel me? Because do the match no people. You ever see spice and look chaka chaka like that before? No, honestly people. You know what I mean? The best is them is saying this is spice. And I'm like, yo, these people don't respect spice, you know. You know what I mean? Spice looking with that spice hand, she looking like she doing construction work, you feel me? You know what I mean? No nail polish, no nothing the pan it or ass clutch, you see me also. You know, you know what I mean? You see me, so it's not the Rasta looking attention, it's the besties them up under the Rasta comment section. You see me, also. I try to get information from Spice. You know what I mean? After we are given all the full details from Spice since day one, since November 1st. You see me, also. I know, it them up in that Rasta comment section, but if Spice are right and all of these things, like, yo. You you know what I mean? Even though Spice, she ain't my one in her ass class, you know, after Spice says she know Misty Dread, you know. You know what I mean? Spice says she know Misty Dread of Blood Clot, and them all over the Rasta man comment section, you see me? You know what I mean? That's why the Rasta trick you know, you know what I mean? Because boom, no people. This is the full picture, you know what I mean? You see me, I say? Rasta take a picture with Trick Daddy, you feel me? But because him know the best is them nuff no rascal lad. Him say it's Trick Daddy I was kicking with. Y'all are crazy, you feel me? 
You see me, I say one minute, we not this up the Rasta the next minute. We not up on the Rasta back here, And I mean, so that's why I'm used to trick daddy and trick him. You see me, I say the man is celebrating birthday and all of this stuff. I don't know how come with some bagger bagger ass clutch. You know what I mean? How could you first of all that's a strong ass bitch. <laughs> that's a strong ass bitch if that's supposed to be a female um hands. No disrespect, you know. Me used to breed dog, you know. You know what I mean? And when you look on the puppy them paws and you see a big paw on the dog, the puppy them, you know, so that's gonna be a big dog, you feel me? You know what I mean? When you don't respect spice, if when you said that was spice chocolate hands, you see me You know what I mean? When me zoom in on the fingernail, them dotting the blood clam, I say, yo, mm mm. It's gonna never be spice blood clot, you see me You know what I mean? Boy, oh boy, oh boy, two years ago, Rasta was in Mexico with Spice, you know. And, la, yeah, on his birthday, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> boy, oh boy, oh boy, Rasta in Las Vegas, no, you know. You know what I mean? That's a man, that's like Rasta said, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, you know. That's a man, that's a man, people. Mm. But there I do, you know what I'm going to say, I'm going to talk to me. Shit. Sorry about that, people. I'm there, I try to roll up. Before we roll out, you know. Oh, people, make sure I click the link in the bio too, because it's being said that. Allegedly, according to Spice Baby Father, she had two ribs removed trying to get her waistline down, you know. Um, that's what the streets is saying, you know. And I mean, the dread makes Spice sick old weather when him did tell her, but he never could. <laughs> Let me see, let me see. What up, what up, what up? People, the rumors are spreading from Spice Baby Father that Spice had two ribs removed trying to get a smaller waistline, you know. Now, I mean, we don't know if it's true or not, you see me? But I mean, that's I keep an update while I go on, you see me? You know what I mean? And things and things. Why she never do fasting? I'll say. Why fast when you have money, you see me? You know what I mean? When you have money, you cut corners, you see me? I'll say. Yeah. When you have money, you cut corners, you see me? But we don't know if it's true though, you know. Mm-hmm. That's the good thing about money, you see me? Spice need to go to surgery and get brain cause a fool she fool. The blood clam. Why? Wow. I know what I go on, you know, people. I just hope she's okay, you know. You know what I mean? I just hope she's okay, you see me? Because it's going to be one month since Spice been in a bad position, you know. Dr. Love, how are you? YouTube and you. What is that news? Can go. I'm on YouTube. Okay, okay, okay. I check it out, you see me? And they get some information from Jasmine Dean to you know people. Um I did a review like maybe like six, eight months ago, you know. Um I've gotten some some information that Jasmine Dean 
let's just say this, some high society people is behind the disappearance of Jasmine Dean, you see me, so, you know, I mean, I know my source, them concrete na ras, you see. As far as I got pulled through, she just after start shit through the side. Boy, you know if Spice don't pull through, a lot of these dancehall artists are going to remix Spice's style, you feel me? I already see people remixing her moves and her lyrics and all of these stuff, is in me, so You know what I mean if you see all them the cartel when cartel go jail her ass clout, isn't it? So this is why I say people are praying for a downfall, you know. You know what I mean? Spice soon forward, she go gospel music, no more skin note song. You crazy? I said, you seen what happened to um lady sir? Nobody no one a gospel or rascal, you see me? You know what I mean? People want to go out and skin no pussy or ass clad and go home and fuck, you feel me? Yeah, I mean. I said, nobody no want to dance across with her ass clad, you see me? No disrespect, you know. Because even the Christians, they must skin out their ass, you know. You know what I mean? I mean, there are enough dancers, I see enough Christians about shan or blanks or whatever in the air, you know. I say you think them Christian people they easy I ask them. Spice will be back soon. One day Ramesh, them appear the doctor. For for quote Spice Neville. Well The streets is talking, you know, people. We need one do them review that you know, you see me, you know. Yeah, I'm not gonna touch base on them review there yet. Yes, I said. First, I forgot to take the road, what's our tech, and load the skin out life. I mean, they say spices in Florida, is that true? Yeah, I forgot to ask your doctor friend them, you know. And I mean, You see me, I say, I forgot to ask the doctor friend them, you see me? That's it. But that's what I heard, though, you know. Hospital bills is too much spice. Booking price gone up, she's going to do. She can't do gospel. And you know, that's the whole thing why I don't um, believe anything that spice them is posting, you know. Because the booking agent lied, you feel me? The booking agent lied, you see me, people. The booking agent came out and said, nothing not wrong with Spice, you feel me? And then we seen the promoter say, you know what, the show has been postponed. So obviously, something wrong with Spice, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So the reason why they put up that thing about hernia is to get out of not paying the bookings. You know what I mean? Her getting a hernia means she's sick. You know what I mean? Things happen before foreseen or out of control, you know. So that, that last post she put up was like a message to all the promoters who the fuck cares about the besties, you know. You know what I mean? That last post was telling the promoters, yo, my girl's sick, so... No, 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 go on, reschedule or whatever, you know, but no money now, nah, run back, you see me, so... You know what I mean? That's how I interpret that post, you know? It's just strictly business, you know what I mean? So... When America Hospital said that bill go too heavy fill up, but remember say Spice is a millionaire, you know. You know what I mean? And she probably got love and hip hop insurance, you see me You know what I'm saying? 
Am I loving hip hop? Um, insurance, you see me? I said, I mean. <laughs> Sorry about that, people. DM them nice, you know. <laughs> My rascal. goes down in the DMs, you know. No, man, I want the blood clot I go on. No, sir. Let me see something, you know. Where you are, sir? Hey, people, they think they might connect, you know. Um, when me see... <laughs> when me see the Ross Clot, hey, how are you, I sir? Yes, the reason why I'm laughing is because I dropped a video last night on my Credible Boss channel. And it connect. You see me, I see how it's a certain artist. is one step away from deleting their profile. Yes, I'll leave it like that. You see me, I see. Anyway, people, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified when we drop the latest from the greatest. Bless.